What is up everybody, it's your boy Cameron Bash here and welcome back to the Movement Channel where today we're coming at you guys with another WWE 2K22 video where in this one we're setting our sights on that juicy January news drop that we've got coming for this game and we're working out exactly what we can expect to hear from 2K about this game at that time. So if you've been riding along on the WWE 2K22 hype train at all towards its release date, then you'll know that January is going to be a very important month for the game as 2K have promised us some important details about the game. We first knew we'd be getting some information around this time when the SummerSlam reveal trailer dropped, as 2K announced at that time that more would be coming in January. But with us being the mouth-watering, hungry for more community that we are, we kept begging for more, and so they gave us more, in the form of the Hit List trailer, showing off the top 10 new features and improvements coming to WWE 2K22. Now using these two trailers that we've been given over the last couple of months, plus a bit more information that we know about WWE games of the past, I think we can safely predict pretty accurately exactly what we're going to be seeing from 2K about this game come January. So without a further ado, let's jump into it. First and foremost, let's talk about the guarantees, the stuff we can pretty safely say for fact we're going to see without fail. The first of those is the redesigned gameplay engine. It's something that they mentioned in their tweet all the way back in August, and it's the very first thing that they show in their hit list trailer. So you know that this is going to be one of the most important things for them to show off, if not the most important thing. In that same tweet from August, and in the next two points of the hit list trailer, you see stunning graphics and new controls listed as well. So, seeing as across both pieces of promotion, they've made a point of talking about these three specific things in unison, I think it wouldn't be unlikely if they covered these three things as one swift two to five minute presentation, as of course, the new controls are what you're going to play with in the new redesigned engine, and all of that will be presented to you with these stunning new graphics, so it makes sense for all these things to be covered hand in hand. Now alongside the hit list trailer, this graphic was also released detailing the points raised in the trailer and quoting that full details to come January 2022. Now it's hard to tell where the line is going to be drawn here and which modes exactly are going to get full details come January. So I think it'd be best to take all the other modes with a grain of salt at this time. It's just not really the 2K style to give a massive amount of details away on game modes ahead of the game's release as they typically stick to give more vague descriptions on what they have to offer. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if for my GM for example, all we got was something along the lines of, my GM puts the player at the heart of the WWE experience as they get to control their own brand as a general manager, sign superstars, book matches and take your ratings to the next level as you look to call yourself the greatest general manager in WWE history. And that's it. So yeah, my GM. My faction, my rise, universe mode, creation suite, I'd expect some sort of treatment like this for these modes at this time. Something we may be able to expect a bit more information regarding though is Rey Mysterio, the cover superstar for this game, and details surrounding the WWE 2K Showcase mode. If you missed our video from a few weeks back, an alleged steelbook cover case for WWE 2K22 was leaked featuring Rey Mysterio. This makes sense considering he's been front and center as the main mascot for this game and it makes even more sense that he's the main cover superstar for this game as well as most of the time steelbook cases are just upgrades of the main box design meaning Ray would need to be the main box design to have an upgraded steelbook cover. With all that being said, January would be the perfect time to not only officially reveal the cover art for the game once and for all, as 2K and WWE are likely going to want to launch pre-orders around this time as well, but it would also make a lot of sense for us to get some more information around Rey Mysterio's 2K Showcase mode. This mode, the matches that go into it, and the superstars that would have been needed to make this mode happen would be details 2K and WWE would have needed to get locked down earlier on into the game's life cycle in order to develop the necessary cutscenes for this mode. With that being said, 
At this stage of things, that's likely a part of the game that's mostly complete, and revealing some of it would not only be really interesting, but could work to generate a lot of hype for the game, especially if it's able to confirm something like Kurt Angle being in the game again with his iconic world title match against Rey Mysterio. And speaking of superstars that might get confirmed for the game, that brings us over to our next point, the roster reveal. Over the years, 2K and WWE have done many different things to reveal the roster for the WWE game and traditionally, the roster reveal usually starts around SummerSlam a couple of months before the game comes out. Well, we have a different release window this year, March, and January would mark a couple of months before the game is set to come out, so what better time than now to kick off the WWE 2K22 roster reveal? This is, of course, pure speculation, as at this time, we have no idea how they plan on revealing the roster for this game, or when. But given the recent issues WWE has been having with their roster in real life, I think this could be a great opportunity for them to recapture some hype for their game, especially if they do this in the right way. Some years, the roster reveal hasn't been too amazing, such as years where it's been given to the reigns of non-wrestling fans, such as when it was given to IGN. But if 2K were to work with the wrestling community and work with creators within it to help deliver the roster reveal, then we think that could go over a lot better. And there you have it, guys. Those are the things that you can expect 2K to speak about come January when it comes to WWE 2K22. So, just to recap, you have a high chance of them talking in detail about the redesigned gameplay engine, new controls, stunning new graphics, and the official cover superstar, a slightly lower chance of them talking about my GM, my faction, my rise, universe mode, creation suite, or showcase mode in any great detail, and then an even lower chance of them doing a roster reveal or anything else that they haven't listed themselves at this time. We're just a few days away now from 2022 kicking off, so the hype is really starting to get real. Before you head off guys, be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. What do you want 2K to talk about in January? Is there a specific mode or feature you want them to cover in depth? Or maybe something else? Let us know in those comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more WWE 2K22 content. Thanks very much for watching the video and we'll see you soon for another one.